Hey guys, we're back with two of them this morning. Couldn't help it. Hey, once again, here where I live, we got this with ridiculous dumbass stuff the bus with school supplies for these freaking ass kids whose parents can't rub two nickels together to get them a pencil. But a new a new uh, part of the puzzle finally hit my head today as they're interviewing people and they talk about the the teachers identify the students of need and then they go out and they purchase supplies to get those students through out of their own money but wait a minute every teacher in the united states they say is so underpaid they can't even have put a piece of cheese on their ham sandwich for lunch so how in the hell are they buying school supplies for kids whose parents refuse to since they're so poorly paid they're lucky that they can they can buy buy shoes to wear to the classroom in the morning. So it's one or the other. So apparently there's there's enough leftover money and discretionary income in a teacher's salary that she's able to do shit. But I don't believe they're buying anything for anybody because that's not how anything works anymore. Everybody holds their own money. The principals all got their own thumbs up their asses because they think they're unfireable. The teachers union is way too strong, it needs to be busted up. It needs to be like what Trump did with VA accountability. Anything to do with schools and teachers needs to be accountability. And if you're not doing your job and you're no good, the union can't protect you. I'm sorry, you're fired. Let's get somebody in here that can do it right. But don't take no damn pencils out there and paper to the bus. I mean, come on. I remember, I'm 62. They used to, uh, you had an orientation day every year. They sent you home with a list of what you needed for the year. And you took that home and your parents were required to, to, to put that list together in order for you to attend school. So your parents actually had to get off their ass and spend some money on their own children. So don't tell me that the majority of this country is so damn broke that they can't buy school supplies but like anything else why would you when you can cry and cry and cry and people like me with no kids get no credit for the fact that being a homeowner i'm forced to build the school survive provide the teachers provide the infrastructure provide the security all the money that come that i pay every year for all this crap for kids i don't have and then you have the audacity to want me to give you a pencil and we'll take this one step further. And they're always crying for money for activities, usually out in front of grocery stores. And I finally asked this, I said, okay, uh, what are you collecting for? And they said, cheerleading. So that's interesting. Okay, well, what part of cheerleading are you collecting for? To buy uniforms. And I looked the woman dead in the eye because I had to. I said, is your little girl a cheerleader? She said, yeah. I said, then why don't you get off your ass and buy her a uniform? She's your little girl. She's not mine. I built your school. I pay for your teacher. I handle the school lunches that are free. I pay for a whole lot of shit to support the education system that I have that I that I don't use. So my money's pure profit. And here what? What could it possibly cost for a cheerleading uniform? If I had a sweet little girl that wanted to be a cheerleader, huh? I'd give up that six pack of beer, that pack of cigarettes, and my handful of lottery tickets. And amazingly, I would find and get off my damn cell phone and I would find her a cheerleading uniform. Over and out. Remember, hey, kids cost money. All I have is a little dog. Guess what? My little dog costs money. Should I get a bucket? and stand in front of Publix, I guess maybe I should, because he's been sick lately and it's not cheap, and say, uh, help, help companion animals. And if anybody questions me, I could just simply say, my pet is sick and I'm having trouble with the vet bill. Please put money in the bucket. And they're gonna laugh at me, right? They're gonna say, take care of your own dog or kill it. I say, yeah, just okay, just like the kids. They, they murdered, they, they, right? Did you know that the most unsafe place for a black baby is inside his mother's womb because the number one cause of death for black children is abortion. So, hey, 
over and out there you go the whole society's messed up